your boats out of plastic, boys and girls. We are going to need a tub full of water so that you can float them. You're going to need some straws, some paper, some different sizes of plastic tubs. So I've got big ones, small ones, and I've also got some milk carton bottle caps. You're also going to need some scissors, a ruler, some blue tack to stick everything together, and also some sellotape. And then to draw our numbers on and cut our shapes out, boys and girls, we're also going to need a pen and a pencil. So let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to Beast and Fields Home Learning. Today, as part of our topic for transport, we are going to be learning how to make boats using different containers. So this is my waggle, and a waggle means what a good one looks like. And this is what we're going to be making, boys and girls. But we're going to do big ones and small ones and long ones and then some small long ones. So the first thing you're going to do boys and girls to make a boat is you're going to have to get different containers. So I have got different sizes, different shapes. So what? that's what you're going to need first. So have a look in your recycling bin and see what you've got in there because that's what I did. The next thing boys and girls we are going to do is make our sails that go on our boat and we're going to number them because we're going to do an experiment, boys and girls, to see which ones float and which ones don't, or do they all float? So let's see whether or not it works. So first thing we're going to do is make our sails. So you're going to need a piece of paper and you're gonna have to fold it in half like that. So just fold it in half. And also, boys and girls, I forgot, we have a special guest today. Frank's joined us. You gonna say hello, Frank? Frank wants to see how, with, what we're doing with all these containers and the water. Because when he saw the water, he thought it was bath time. But it's not bath time, love. All right. So we're going to fold our paper in half. So we're going to have it long ways, portrait. Fold it in half, then turn it round and fold it in half again. Then I'm also going to fold it in half one more time. And this is, a, this is a good way, boys and girls, to do it because it means that you don't have to keep drawing up triangles. You just draw one triangle and you get lots of them. So I'm going to get my pencil. I'm going to get my ruler. And I'm going to draw a long line down like that. I'm then going to get my ruler again. And I'm going to go and I'm going to draw a line across like that. And then going to get my ruler and put it up to the two lines so they join up. Get my pencil, finger and thumb behind, two fingers behind, nice and tightly at the bottom. And I'm going to draw a line diagonally, which like that. And that is our triangle, boys and girls, for our sale. So then, boys and girls, I'm going to get my scissors. Thumb in the top, two fingers at the bottom, so you can move them. And I'm going to cut along the lines. Remember to be careful, boys and girls, and if you need any help, remember to ask your mummies and daddies to help you. So, then we have our sails, boys and girls, and we have lots of them. Here you go, Frank. Here's a sail on your bed. So if I put them all the right way, like that. Is that right? No, wrong way missing. That way round. So we want our flat side at the bottom, our long side up, and our diagonal line this way, boys and girls. Facing all the same way for our boats. The next thing I'm going to do, boys and girls, is I'm going to put a number on my boats so we know what number they are and we, know, we can tell which one, which one stay, which one floated and which one sunk. So I'm going to get my pen or a pencil and I'm going to write my numbers. So because I've done number one, I'm going to do number two. 
two. Number three. Number four. Missing draw number five backwards, but that's because she's looking upside down. So I'm going to do it this way because Miss Thing can't see her eyes. Number five. Number six. And number seven. So that is Miss Sing's sales all done. So I can move my pencil and pen out the way. The next thing you're going to need is some straws, boys and girls. So I have got some cardboard straws, plastic straws work the same. And what you're going to do is get a couple of straws and then what we're going to do is cut them in half. Now remember boys and girls to ask a mummy and daddy to help you with this. So I've got a long one and I'm just going to hold my fingers far away and I'm going to cut in the middle. I'm just going to do it again. Make sure my fingers are far away. I'm going to cut them. Right, the next thing, boys and girls, I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my sail to the straw like that. So I'm going to get my turn my sail over so the number's on the back. I'm going to get my straw. I'm then going to get some cellar tape. Now you might need some help with this. And I'm then going to stick the straw on the back. And that's our sail. So that's one. Just going to do it for the rest of them now, boys and girls. And that's all our cells ready, boys and girls. I'll put them in order. So that's our mini boats ready. So I do not need my cellar tape or my straws anymore. That can go over here. The next thing I'm going to need, boys and girls, is still my scissors and some blue tacks. So I'll get them ready. And I'm going to make different sized boats. So I've got a small container here and I'm going to get some blue tack. Or if you have any Play-Doh at home, if you don't have blue tack, that's fine. I'm going to stick it, push it down to the bottom, and then going to get my number, and I'm going to squeeze it into the blue tack, and I'm going to pinch my fingers around. And that's our boat, boys and girls. Like that. Now, what I am going to do on one of my boats is I am going to put lots of blue tack on it to see if that makes the boat sink because blue tack is quite heavy. So let's see if that makes a difference. <laughs> I 
I think Frank seems to think this is food, boys and girls. So I've got different, I'm going to try different sizes. So I've got a square shape, one, and it's a square because it has four sides, four equal sides. One, two, three, four. I've got a round shape and it's a circle because it is round. I've got a small rectangle because it has four sides. One, two, three, four. And this time I've got a big, deep square rectangle. So again, I'm going to put lots of blue tack in it. Number four is going to go in there. Like that. And I'll do a small circle because it is round. One. I've got another long one. I'm also going to do boys and girls is I might cut some of these down to see if it makes a difference so I'm going to get my scissors now boys and girls please make sure you get your mummies and daddies to help with this part so I'm going to draw a line of how far I want to go down a line on the other side so we can see And this is our last one, boys and girls. Remember, boys and girls, to get your mummies and daddies to help you so that you don't hurt yourselves. So that is my seven boats ready. Are you ready, Frank? Now, the next part, boys and girls, is the exciting part. because We are going to see if they float or sink. So I have got a tub of water here. And I'm going to see whether they float or sink. So let's have a go. This is number one. Oh, number one gets to float. I wonder if it will float if I put something on my boat. Still floating. Still floating. This is quite a good boat, this is. Mm, that's a bit big. Still floating. Wow, boys and girls, that's really good. So number one floats really well. And I wonder why it floats really well, boys and girls. It could be because it's nice and wide and long. So it means that it can spread the weight out and be nice and flat. So that's my number one. Let's see number two. Number two is here, the small little one. Should we give this one a go, Frank? That one's a good one. Let's see if it works again if we put something in it. Oh, the minute we put something heavy in it, boys and girls, it sank. Oh dear, Frank, it sank. I do you want to have a look too? So, why do you think it sank, boys and girls? That's right, because it was so, because it's a small boat, it can't, it can't carry a, he a heavy material because otherwise it just sinks. It pushes, the heavy weight pushes the boat down. So that's that one. Let's 
Let's try number three and four together. Let's see where four is. Number four. All right, let's put three in. Four. So they're both floating, boys and girls. Now let's see if it works if we put something inside it. Still floating. Mm -hmm. Happened again. Maybe we should try something else. Some blue tack. Oh, so the any time you put something into this one, boys and girls, it seems to sink. So I wonder if it's because again it's a small circle and not a big circle. Right, let's see if this one this one floats. So one of the things about this container, boys and girls, I wanted to see is it's got holes at the bottom, and I wanted to see if it had holes. Would it still float for a long period of time? Which means, would it float with it for a long time? So I'm going to put some stuff in it and see if the water starts to come through. Which, as you can see, boys and girls, water is starting to come through at the bottom, which means the boat is sinking. Can you see it starting to fall to the side? So a boat with holes in the bottom, boys and girls, is not a good idea because it, the water comes through and it makes the boat sink. That wouldn't be a very good boat. So the next part, boys and girls, is we're gonna try five and six. So five. Oh, number six is not floating. Now, I wonder if it, it didn't float because of the, the, the size and the shape it is. It's got a very small bottom, but a very big top. That did not float, boys and girls. I wonder again, because it's not like the rectangle, the square shape, it's not a long piece of plastic spread out flat, whereas this is quite heavy at the top because it's quite big on the top. So it sinks. Number five. Oh, number five's floating along quite nicely. Frank, look. So number five's floating. I wonder if we put something in it, will it float still? Nope. But it does float on its own. So it's quite an interesting boat. Quite like this boat, even though it's got a big top and a small bottom circle, it floats. I wonder if it's because it's quite small, whereas this one's quite tall. So that makes a difference. And the last one, boys and girls, number seven, the one that we cut round. Let's see if this one floats. And it does. It's quite similar, quite the same to this shape. But I also think it floats because it's got an equal shape all the way round. A bit like this long square. There we go, boys and girls. That was quite fun, that was. Did you have fun, Frank? Did you like seeing all the different boats? Do you just like it because you think you're having a bath? Frank likes to have a bath, boys and girls. Well, I hope you've had fun today and I hope you found it interesting watching me make boats and I can't wait to see if you guys have, a make, have make some boats at home. So have a look at your containers in your recycling bin and see if you can make some boats and see whether or not they float or they sink. It'd be really cool to see your pictures. So if you make them, can you upload them to Tapestry, please? So me and the rest of the Beast and Field team can have a look. So I hope you have fun and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.